Hey, hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to deploy Sysmon version 15 with a Sysmon config via GPO on or in your Windows domain environment. Now, the main reason why I'm doing this video is because I just realized yesterday that I totally forgot how to deploy GPOs, like totally forgot. And so I spent hours upon hours trying to figure it out. And I just told myself, I said, hey, what better way to uh, take notes than to make a video. And so that's what I'm doing now. So hopefully this helps uh, you or someone else out in the future uh, when it comes to deploying GPOs, especially Sysmon. Sysmon is a must to have in your environment. Uh, so here's version 15. If you're not familiar with Sysmon, just hop over to Google, Google Sysmon, Microsoft, Sysinternals, and this page will tell you everything you need to know about all the event IDs that are very crucial to be logged in your environment and shipped off to whatever your log aggregator of choice might be. Uh, now, also, you will need a Sysmon configuration file to be a little bit more uh, granular at what you would like to log and what sort of metadata you want to be logged with it. So here I'm using a lot of heart tongue Sysmon modular config. I'll drop a link down in the description below once I'm done. And it's very configurable. I like it a lot. I like how the MITRE technique IDs are mapped to each individual uh, condition or under particular event ID that are being logged. So it's really cool. Uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump over to our Windows 2K19 server. And what we would like to do first is create a folder, name it Sysmon or whatever you would like. So here I have a Sysmon folder, and then I have the binary and the configuration along with the bat file. Now we go ahead and edit here. We can kind of see the contents of the bat file. Essentially what's happening is we're copying from this shared corp DC Sysmon folder, the config and the binary. And we're going to either one, we're going to start Sysmon with the configuration file. Uh, if there is one locate, if there is a Sysmon binary located on the endpoint, uh, it's going to say, hey, if it's running, start Sysmon, SC start Sysmon. If not, we'll go to install, which is we've already copied the binaries over, and then we'll start installing with our new uh, configuration, and we'll accept the EULA there. So that's uh, pretty much what that bat file is doing. Um, and so we'll have this shared folder. So what we want to do is we want to create a user group. Now we can go over here to tools and look at Active Directory users and computers. And the main reason why we're wanting to create this new group is so that the share folder has the correct permissions that we're gonna to lay to our GPO, right? So we'll go over here, right click, and we'll do a new group. And we can call this group, I don't know, uh, tool group, right? Or uh, tool deployment, yeah, that sounds cooler, right? So tool deployment. So here's our group tool deployment right there. And let's go right click again and properties. And what we wanna do is we want to stuff all of our workstations under this new group, right? So any group, any workstation, uh, we can actually um, create another group and then stuff or create another section and then stuff it under this group. But for time's sake, we'll just go to uh, taking all the workstations in the environment and putting them under this new group, right? So here we go to members, you see we don't have any, right? Now this over here is our dev worker. Here's our IP. As you can see, we don't have any Sysmon uh, binaries on this endpoint running at all. No Sysmon services. So we wanna make sure we put dev worker under that new group, okay? Uh, so that it takes effect. So we'll go over here to add. Here's our object types. Uh, computers aren't uh, checked by default, so you make sure you just want to check computers, and you can search it for however your workstations are named in your environment. Here's Corp CEO, DC, HR. As you can see, Dev Worker is not in here, so I have to go back and add the Dev, and here we have Dev Worker, which is now under our group as well, as long as uh, as well as with the other uh, workstations. Okay. So we'll click apply and okay. And that's creating the group. So we'll go ahead and exit out of here. And what we wanna do in this folder is we wanna share this folder with that group, uh, only that group, right? Give them read permissions. 
So here, uh, I don't know what that is, get rid of that. So here I have administrator. So let's go ahead and add, let's see here, tool. Uh, let's go ahead and find them. So tool, the tool deployment. All right, so we have that group, they're read only. Good to go. We shared that, done. So now our tool deployment group is shared, has that permission for that folder, the read only permission. And now we need to go over to our GPOs, right? So you go here to tools and go to group policy management. And here I've already made the GPO, but we'll go ahead and walk through it, right? So first things first, we want to click our domain and then right click and create the GPO and then name it what you want to name it, all right? And once the GPO is named, a crucial thing you need to do is you need to add that group that we created, tool group, right here. So that it has our permissions for that GPO to run on the workstations, okay? So let's go here, we'll edit, and we'll expand this out a little bit. And here in the computer configurations, we wanna to go to preferences, control panel settings, scheduled tasks, and here we already have a scheduled task, right? Well, I'll click on it anyways. If you don't have that there, you'll right click scheduled task, you go to new, and it'll be for scheduled task at least Windows 7, okay? And then you'll name it, whatever you wanna name it, right? And then once that's done, you'll go under your GPO, and here's your GPO right here, and you, here's your name for your GPO. Here's its updated NT authority system is the GPO, or it will be the user context in which it'll run. And we can run whether the user is logged on or not. So that should be clicked right there because if the user's logged off, you still want your GPO to run. Uh, see, that looks good. And here we go as well. Here are our triggers. So we'll just click on triggers, you go to new. You don't have one there, but if you do, you can go to edit and begin the task on a schedule every day. So usually uh, about 12 p. Yeah, 12 a.m. Yeah, we'll just do 12 a.m. right here, right there. Okay, so 12 a.m. right there to occur daily. And repeat the task every one hour. Uh, enable, that looks good. So all that looks like it's in order. So we'll click OK here. Here we go to actions, and this is important. So uh, you wanna click new. Mine's already here, so I'll just edit it. And this is the path from which the bat file is located that the tool develop, uh, tool deployment group has access to. Uh, so I wanna make sure that you're pointing your uh, scheduled tasks to the correct program and script, the location where it's at on the DC or wherever your share folder is located. So click okay there. Here are your conditions. All right, here are your settings. Right here, allow tasks to be run on demand, which we'll do, we'll do a force. Uh, run task as soon as possible after the schedule start is missed. Stop task if it runs longer than three days. The run task is not in when requested, force it to stop. All right, and here's common, nothing too fancy there. So we'll click apply and click okay. So all that looks good to go. We'll exit out of this right here. Uh, refresh, all that's in order. We'll close this out, everything should be in line. So we'll come over here to our workstation and we'll just do a GP update force. And here we're updating the policy manually. Uh, sometimes it takes a computer restart for policy to take effect. Uh, but once we're done here, we'll go ahead and look at uh, task scheduler. And we'll see here that our Sysmon deployment has taken effect on our endpoint to run at 12 a.m. every day. And here are all the particulars that we have for conditions, actions, settings, all that good stuff. But what we want to do is we want to manually run uh, this task to see if we can get it to pull the contents from the shared folder on the DC. So here's kind of scroll this over a little bit. All right, so now we're running and we should be able to see here in just a moment if our contents are pulled over. And it doesn't look like they are, which may require a reboot of the system. Let's just do a refresh here. These are all the things about this is 
either it runs i don't know why it does this but yeah so no problem here we'll just do a quick reboot restart here and while that's restarting just ensure that everything is shared properly on here here we have sharing share tool deployment that's good just make sure everything's in line advanced sharing permissions all that looks good uh let's see here let's remove that and add while the computer is rebooting tool deployment okay read only apply got you apply there okay and if you didn't see that that was under advanced sharing permissions found the group looked for it and i gave it the read permission clicked okay clicked okay again and close and let's just take a look one more time at our users our users group make sure uh, our workstations are under there properly so check check double check uh, here we are here's our members dev workers there okay everything looks good so let's start our rdp session one more time one second all right so now i'm logging in to our workstation after it rebooted uh, sometimes you can force it to pull down the gpo and install manually uh, sometimes it does take a reboot of the workstation so that uh, all the contents are pulled down correctly don't know why but yeah whatever so come here oops All right, that looks good. Nothing there. Uh, let's see here's query real quick. All right, nothing there. So let's go ahead so we can run this task one more time. And pull up task scheduler. There's that. And here's our Sysmon task. And we'll just go ahead and run this. We can see that it is running. Go ahead and clear the screen. All right, there we are. And you can see here that our Sysmon binary is pulled down along with our Sysmon config. And we'll go ahead and see if the service started correctly. And boom, we now have a full working GPO in our enterprise environment uh, logging Sysmon. And if you want to just double check, whether or not that's working properly, you can come over here to Event Viewer and go to Windows Logs. Uh, see here, Applications and Services. And we'll just go ahead and expand that out real quick. Oops, looks like it got stuck. No, it froze on me. Don't do this to me, no. Oh, probably because it takes so long to expand the Application Services and Logs or like, bajillion things that are there uh, Microsoft Windows and let's go down to scroll this over a little bit uh, to Sysmon and here it is Sysmon operational and here we have all of our event IDs uh, looks good yep so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't checked out Sysmon uh, version 15 go ahead and check it out and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I'll drop some links and hope to see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.